here in Cleveland Brown Stadium for what figures to be another great game. We're just about ready to kick off another year of NFL football. Thanks for being here to enjoy today's season opening game as the Bengals match up against the Browns. And let's go to the field for the coin toss. What's going on guys? Sparky here from No Named Gaming and welcome to the Cleveland Browns season and home opener against the Cincinnati Bengals. Hopefully you guys are excited like I am. We're going to see if we can get a win here and start off the season 1-0. and oh, Let's take a look. Ooh, kicking not very good to start. Uh, definitely used to the NCAA, so that will be a penalty, and they will get great field position for the opening drive. So Bengals come out on the 48. Rudy Johnson in the backfield gets the handoff on the delay. Gets about four yards. So gain of five on the run there from Johnson. Second and five. They come out in the shotgun. Rudy Johnson on the right side of Palmer. They've got a man in motion. The drop back. Pass out. He's got TJ Hushmanzada. Gets the first down. So coming out first and 10 after that big pass to TJ Hushmanzada. They've got Rudy Johnson back. Tight end to the right side. They give him the handoff. He finds a hole. Gets about first down and more. About 12 yards on the gain there. Opening drive looking very nice here for the Bengals. They come out. They've got the weak eye. Rudy Johnson in the backfield, pitch left side. He's got a block from the fullback, but it's going to get brought down at the 20. So here we go. Just outside the red zone now, second and 13. They've got four wide receivers out. Palmer takes a snap. The handoff to Rudy Johnson gets a nice hole, gets about five or six there. So now third and seven from the 15. They need to get to the eight-yard line for the first down. They come out tight end on the left side. The drop back, Palmer looking for the man in the end zone. He finds, it looks like Chris Henry, it will be short though for a fourth down. So after the chip shot field goal from Graham, the Bengals lead three to nothing. Brown's coming out, eye formation, they are stacking the box here on the Bengals defense. Hand off to Lee Suggs, it's gonna be left side, but gets about six yards there. So second and four after that decent first down run to Suggs, they come out eye formation once more. Seven in the box for the defense. Trent Dilfer. Hands it off to Suggs. Suggs breaks one, but then gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third and four for the Browns. Trying to see if they don't go three and out on this opening drive. They come out weak eye. Suggs in the backfield. Remember, Ruben Downs is injured. Trent Dilfer dropping back. He sees Hyden, gets the first down, and then a little bit more. So first pass of the season is completed for veteran Trent Dilfer. Now he comes out shotgun. He's got four receivers. Suggs on the right side. Drops back. Looking for a man, hits the curl, he hits Andre Davis for the second first down. So early on here, Trent Dilfer looking pretty good. Two passes, two first downs. He's got some decent gains here. They come out one back, and they've got seven in the box for the defense. The handoff to Suggs, finds a little gap, gets about three yards. So it looks like it was ruled just a little shorter than what it looked like. It was a two yard gain, and they're really gonna stack the box here. Nine up there for the defense. They still go with the handoff. Oh no, it's a play action. Goes the deep bomb to the end zone, and it will be caught by Andre Davis. Touchdown for the Cleveland Browns. So after a 42-yard bomb to Andre Davis, the Browns lead 6-3 after a missed extra point. Bad kickoff gives decent field position here for the Bengals. The toss out to Rudy Johnson, but he will get stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. So second and 13. He went back three on that one. They're stacking the left side, it looks like. Rudy Johnson back. Looking to maybe receive a handoff. Carson Bomber eating some clock here. The draw play to Johnson. He gets about a yard or two, but that's it. So a big third down here. Third and 12. There are four receivers out there for Carson Palmer. Defense got the dime. They're going to try and pass the center of the field to TJ Hushman Sada, but he gets stopped at about the 50. So after the three and out, the Browns take the field. I formation. They've got Suggs in the backfield. Trent Dilfer is connected on one deep bomb. He hits Andre Davis there in the slant and gets the first down. So there's a quick look at the total yards. The Browns struggling to get the ground going, but they've got 78 through the air, only 42 for the Bengals. I formation once more. The pitch out to Suggs. Suggs trying to see if he can make it around the corner, but only gets about a yard or two. So the running game is still a struggle here for the Browns. They come out strong eye to Trent Dilfer. Has lots of options here as the defense really pushing up. He sees Hyde in middle of the field, wide open. Nobody around gets lots of extra room. And what a pass here. The play action worked beautifully 
on the rollout. He sees him lots of space, gets about an extra five yards. So Trent Dilfer has five consecutive completions. They're in the shotgun. They've got two running backs with him. They drop back. He hits Braylon Edwards on the slant, gets him perfectly, and it's going to be a big first down. And Trent Dilfer is hot. He is doing a great job of finding his receivers. They come out in the shotgun again, almost like they're abandoning the run game, it looks like. We'll see if that's going to continue throughout the game. The snap. He hands it off to Suggs and only gets maybe a yard, if anything. So after the loss of one on the last play, Browns come out in the shotgun. Second and 11, looking to head into the red zone. Duffer drops back. He sees Edwards underneath. He gets him trying to run for the first, but gets stopped with about a yard short. So at the end of the first quarter, it's a pretty slow start for both offenses, but the Browns lead 6-3 to three over the Bengals. So here come the Cleveland Browns, third and one inside the red zone. Start of the second quarter, Charles Smith will be back here soon. He did go out a couple plays ago. It's going to be Suggs getting the handoff, but isn't going to get it, gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. So here comes Dawson out for the field goal. Should be an easy one, 35 yards. He is nice and centered up. The kick is up. And it is just in the corner. So here we go. Browns coming out on defense. They lead 9-3 to three after the field goal was good by Dawson. And finally, they get a good kickoff. So they've got a little bit of more room to work with when it comes to the defense. But Rudy Johnson gets a handoff left side and gets about five yards. So here they come out, second and five. Looks like they have the 3-3-5 three, three, defense. Palmer dropping back, trying to see if he can find a man deep. Doesn't find anybody, avoids one sack, gets a pass out to Lewis, and he will get a nice first down. So after that big first down play, Bengals come out first and 10, weak eye. Counter, but Rudy Johnson gets eaten alive by McKinley. So a big stop by McKinley there. Makes it second and 13. They come out weak eye once more. It's going to be a pitch to Rudy Johnson. McKinley on the hunt again, but he can't get him. But they will bring him down about a yard gain. So this defense has been pretty good with getting the stops when it comes to the run. Passing game, a little bit of a different story as they come out with the screen, but Rudy Johnson gets taken down in the backfield. So after the punt, Browns get the ball at about the 32-yard line. They come out for receivers, trips right, Suggs in the backfield. They still lead 9-3. He's got Edwards wide open underneath, has a little bit of space, and gets the first down. So, so far, rookie Braylon Edwards having a pretty solid day. Three catches for 41 yards. We've got the split back formation. They hand off to Suggs, but it's not going to go anywhere. So after the unsuccessful run on first down, let's see where they come out here on second. A stacked line of scrimmage for the Bengals. Dilfer with play action. Can't get the ball quick enough and gets sacked for a big loss there on second down. So Dilfer got taken down for a loss of seven there. As you can see, passing working really well for the Browns. The running game still has not been able to get started, but the Bengals... Offense still having some struggles. Split back here on third down. He sees Braylon Edwards. Hits him. Is it going to be enough? It looks like it is. So coming into training camp, it was very hard to decide which three receivers who was going to get the start. But Braylon Edwards gets bumped down to the third. But he's doing a really good job out of the slot right now. He's got four catches now. And Trent Dilfer so far perfect. But right there is his first incompletion of the game. Really good coverage by the Bengals on the last play. And some pressure forced Trent Dilfer to have to throw it away. So it's going to be second and 10. They come out, bunch receivers right. He sees Edwards on the out route. He gets him. It's going to be about a gain of eight there. So after that eight-yard pass to Braylon Edwards, it is third and two. Browns are two for three on third down conversions. Coming out, eye formation. Trent Dilfer with the hard count trying to see if he can draw somebody offside. Suggs bouncing around to the outside but only gets a yard. So Browns bring out Dawson for the field goal attempt. It is a long 53-yard field goal. Here comes the snap. It's up, but it's not going to have the distance. Only makes it about halfway through the end zone. So a somewhat questionable call to kick a 53-yard field goal. But nonetheless, it is first and 10 for the Bengals. They've got pretty good field position to start here as they come out strong eye. Rudy Johnson with the counter. Gets eaten alive in the backfield yet again. So this Browns defense has done a very good job of identifying the run game and being able to stop it before it gets started. The handoff to Rudy Johnson once more. He breaks the tackle. Gets about five yards, though. So it is third and seven. The Bengals looking to convert their first third down of the day. We're under four minutes to go here in the first half. Carson Palmer dropping back. Looking out here for an open man. Nobody's open. The pass out, and it's going to be knocked down for fourth down. So here we go. Browns. 
stuck at the 12-yard line. Trent Dilfer, he's had a great start to the game here. 9 for 10 passing. Make it 10 for 11 as he hits Andre Davis for the first down. So here we go, coming out I formation. The handoff to Suggs on the left side. He's got some room there, breaks out for about eight yards. So after one of the more successful runs from Suggs, they're gonna come out in the weak eye, second and two. Gets the handoff, has the hole right, goes left instead, and is going to squeeze it out, it looks like. A very generous spot on the ball gives the Browns a first and 10. They come out weak eye once more. We see these safeties creeping up here. Dofer drops back, under pressure, has to dump it. Thankfully, it hits the ground. It'll be second and 10. So 2-12 on the clock. This might be the last play before the two minute warning. Bunch receivers right for the Browns. Suggs in the backfield. Hand off to the left side, gets stuffed in the backfield. It will only be a loss of two. So coming out after the two minute warning, third and 12 in the shotgun. Lots of defenders out for the secondary. And it's going to be a deep bomb. Very bold pass here. And it's going to be brought down for an incomplete. So not the best of punts there. Looks like I need to uh, hop into practice and do some kicking practice. Got used to the NCAA format. Palmer dropping back. Has lots of time, but cannot get to his receiver. So after the incomplete pass, second and 10. Single back. Palmer drops back. Looking along the sideline, maybe looking out here, has tons of time yet again, but it will be picked off by Bodden. He's got some space, but cannot break out as Rudy Johnson brings him down. So the first takeaway of the season for this Browns defense gives the offense a great placement. They are on the other side of the 50 as Dilfer drops back. He's trying to find an open man. He's got Bryant, but he's covered. Has to just dump it. Trent Dilfer on that last play, definitely getting a little bit of tunnel vision as he really just zoned in on one guy. We see the safeties creep forward yet again. And we're going to see if Trent Dilfer can find a gap here in the defense. The audible's out of the play. He's going to drop back. Looking for an open man in the middle. He hits Hayden and he is connected once more. Trent Dilfer already looking like he is in mid-season form. He is 12 for 16 at this point here as we close to the final minute of the first half. The play action. Trying to see if he can find an open man. Nobody's there. Runs away, but gets sacked for a loss of 12. So after the timeout to stop the clock, it is second and 22. They come out I formation for receivers. It's going to be a play action. It sucks. Looks like the defense bites a little bit. He's got an open look, but Williams will cut in for the interception. So after getting their first interception of the season, the Bengals go and get their first takeaway of the season with the interception. So 9-3 to three still, one minute left on the clock as Palmer drops back, looking for an open man. Is going to try and bomb it deep down the field, and Henry catches that one! So the passing game has not been working too well for the Bengals today, but after that massive bomb from Carson Palmer, it will be first and 10 inside the red zone. Let's see if they can find the end zone this time. They weren't able to in their first trip. It's going to be a handoff to Rudy Johnson. Right side has lots of space, and a lead blocker gets brought down after nine. So second and inches. They come out eye formation. Lots of players in the box for the Browns' defense, trying to see if they can stuff any run. He's got the split backs. Palmer oh, going to drop back, looking for a man. Gets hit as he throws. It'll be second, uh, third and inch. Bengals come out in the shotgun. They still are looking for their first third down conversion of the game. They're 0 for 4 now. He's got Rudy Johnson on his left. He's going to look for the pass. Hits for the corner. It's going to be knocked down in a fourth down. So Graham was able to hit the chip shot for the Bengals, making it a 9-6 lead for the Browns. Only 39 seconds left, but they're going to see if they can put some last-ditch points here on the board before going to halftime. The deep bomb to Davis. It worked earlier, but he is double covered. Second and 10 after the incomplete bomb. Just a reminder, the Browns did elect to receive in the second half. He hits the out here for Suggs, but Suggs will get stopped at the line of scrimmage. So his knee was down inbound, so it looks like that's probably going to be it here for the first half. So the first half, both teams struggling to put points on the board. Browns lead 9-6. to six. Let's head down to the halftime show. Welcome to the NNG Cleveland Browns halftime show. Your Cleveland Browns lead the Cincinnati Bengals 9-6 to six at halftime. Both teams have struggled running the ball, but Trent Dilfer has found great success in the air. So far, he's thrown for 160 yards, a touchdown, and one interception. Andre Davis is his leading receiver with four receptions for 77 yards and a touchdown. The Bengals have struggled to pass the ball as well as run. 
Carson Palmer has only completed 6 of 11 passes for 78 yards. Rudy Johnson has 39 yards on 13 carries, and rookie Chris Henry is the leading receiver with 2 receptions for 49 yards. Now we'll take a look around the league. On Thursday night, the Raiders and Patriots opened up the 2005 season. The Raiders ended up winning this game 16-13 thanks to a touchdown pass from Kerry Collins early in the fourth quarter. The stats tell a much different story though. The Patriots had no problem moving the ball with over 400 yards of offense but were unable to score. Tom Brady did not have the most impressive season opener as he threw for 349 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. In case you missed it the other day, in the college football world, the Rice Owls destroyed Sam Houston State in their season opener, 82 to nothing. A great first showing as they looked ahead into a very tough Rose Bowl as they face UCLA next week. But that's all the time we have for now. We'll get down back to the field for the second half of the Cleveland Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome back to the second half of the Cleveland Browns home and season opener. Your Browns lead 9-6 as Trent Dilfer is going to drop back with twin tight ends. He hits Shea on the outside. Not enough speed, though, as he will be short of the first down. So after that solid first down pass, the Browns come out. Bunch receivers right. He's got Suggs in the backfield. Suggs almost has a gap, but only gets about a yard. So down about a yard. They are two for six on third down. They come out. He's got gap to the right. Gets brought down at the line of scrimmage. So the Browns ground game fails yet again as they end up going three and out on that opening drive. So now Bengals opening drive of the second half. There you're going to get McKinley to jump off sides. So after the five-yard penalty, it's going to be first and five here. Tight end in motion. Rudy Johnson in the backfield. Palmer drops back, but Taylor gets on top of him. Incomplete pass. Coming out in the I formation, second and five for the Bengals. He's going to fake the handoff to the fullback. Tosses out to Rudy Johnson, only about a yard. So in the first half, the Bengals were unable to convert a single third down. This is their sixth of the game. Can they get their first first down, third down completion? Hand off to Johnson. He will fall forward for the first. So a little bit of a slow and steady approach on offense as they've been Slowly grinding away the yards here in the second half on that first three plays. They get it to Johnson. He gets about a yard or two. So here we go. Second and nine. Twin tight ends on the right. Davies trying to get back there. Almost picked off. It'll be third down. So after converting on the last third down, they're one for six. Two receivers on the left. Palmer dropping back, looking for an open man. He's going to pass it out. Almost picked off again. It'll be fourth down. So both offenses unable to score in the start of the second half. But it's going to be Dilfer passing out to Davis. He has to come back for the pass, but does get a decent gain. A gain of six on that pass from Dilfer to Davis. Davis has been one of his go-to receivers here. The play action. Dilfer has an opening on the outside, and Braylon Edwards will head out of bounds and gets the first. The rookie Edwards having a good opening day here for the Browns. I believe that's his fifth reception at this point. He's getting closer to closing in on 100 yards. Play action to Suggs again. He sees Hayden way downfield, gets the completion across the 50. After that big first down pass, ball spotted at the 41 yard line. Trent Dilfer has two tight ends. Suggs in the backfield, the counter, goes right side, gets off of one, but only gets about a yard. The running game was a struggle in the first half for the Browns, and it looks like it's going to continue here in the second half early on. Nothing going for Suggs. He just doesn't have that explosive power, it looks like, to break through the line. Again, about two or three there. Nate Webster injured on the play for the Bengals' defense. It'll be third and six after that three-yard gain for Suggs. The Browns, a little bit better than the Bengals when it comes to third down com conversions, but not great, though. Dilfer's got all sorts of time. He's going to have to run out, avoid the tackle, will dive forward and get the first. That was definitely a phrase I never thought I'd hear myself saying. Trent Dilfer with the scramble for the first down, but they got it nonetheless. And they are closing in on the red zone. The handoff to Suggs bounces to the outside and a loss of two. So you can see how Trent Dilfer's been doing when it comes to completions. Favoring that right side very heavily. He's also got some completions down the center of the field. Speaking of the center of the field, he finds Andre Davis on the slant, just short of the first. Nate Webster injured a couple plays ago, diagnosed with elbow brucitis, so it will be a one-quarter injury. He should be back. Green with the handoff. The backup coming out gets the first down. The Browns inside the red zone yet again. You can see they're doing very well when it comes to at least some passing. They double the offensive yardage of the Bengals, but not on the scoreboard. Only 9-6. to six. Suggs gets it on the pitch. Gets about four yards there. 
That rushing number slowly climbing for the Browns. 30 yards on the ground as opposed to 45 from the Bengals. Dilford dropping back, trying to hit it in the center. Is going to get knocked down. Third and six. They're four for nine now on third down conversions. Touchdown would be great in this situation. Field goal wouldn't be bad as it would put it at a six point game. Hits Edwards. He's trying to break through but gets stopped at the three. They come out in the weak eye. Five on the line for the defense. Looks like he's going to try an audible out here. Only one man back now. The draw play sucks. Has a gap, but gets stopped at the one. Attempt number two here on the goal line. They come out. Everybody on the line. Sucks still in the backfield. Run to the left side, and he gets his first touchdown of the season. A great hole there opened up by the O-line. Helps that the D-line shifted the other way. It is going to be a big lead now for the Browns. After the extra point and kickoff, it is a 10-point Browns lead. I formation here for the Bengals. Rudy Johnson in the backfield, tight end in motion. The handoff, he's got some space, gets about two or three yards there. Second and nine after that short run. I formation yet again, tight end on the left. Carson Palmer with the handoff right side. Rudy Johnson gets a little bit of space, breaks a tackle, brings him to about third and three. This could be a big moment for the Bengals offense. Third and three, they only have one third down conversion. The handoff to Rudy Johnson, and he's going to break forward for the first down. That will send us into the fourth quarter. 16-6, the Browns lead. This Bengals offense still struggling to get yardage. They're held under 200 yards right now on the day. Only six points on the board for them. The draw play to Johnson brought down by Fisk after about a gain of three. So second and seven. Looks like they've got six in the box here for the defense. Carson Palmer dropping back. He's got a man going to lead. Hushman Zada. He's going to be short about a yard or two. Third and two. They converted the last third down, so they're now two for eight. Palmer drops back. Has a lot of space here, but Chris Henry gets it off the deflection. It is fumbled. It will be picked up by the Browns and Russell. So it'll be a first down now for the Browns. Challenge called here by the Bengals. So let's take a look here down to the booth it's very hard to tell the timing really close let's see if we can get a better angle of this so the ruling on the field is a fumble and it's gonna look like the ball pops out ah it's so close it looks like it could be just a hair before or a hair after let's see what the call is down at the field After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. No time to be charged to the defense. The call is reversed, so Chris Henry gets credit for that big first down pass. It will be a huge first down for the Bengals as it's countered to Chris, uh, Rudy Johnson. He's going to try and break through. He gets about six or seven. This offense starting to come alive for the Bengals here in the fourth quarter, right when it matters most. Palmer dropping back, gets hit as he throws. And it will be incomplete. Third down, third and three. Palmer out in the shotgun. He's got three receivers out there. Rudy Johnson on his left. Trying to see if he can maybe hard count. Drops back. Has a little bit of space. Has to throw. Gets hit. And it will be fourth down. Graham comes out for the 45-yard field goal. He is two for two on the day. The kick is up and straight down the middle. It will be a 16-9 lead for the Browns. The Browns lead by a touchdown with nine and a half minutes to go. Bunch right. Suggs gets the handoff. No room there on the left. Split backs behind Dilfer. He drops back, trying to see if he can find an open man. Gets the toss over the top, but it's going to be swatted down. Third and 11. This is a crucial third down. There's still plenty of time for the Bengals to get that touchdown. Dilfer and shotgun. Drops back. Can't get it out. Will be sacked at the 20-yard line. And this is not good. Dilfer walking out with an injury on the play. So it seems like the word on Trent Dilfer is an abdominal tear. Will be out for longer than just this game. So Charlie Fry will take snaps on the next offensive drive, but the defense has to stand up strong. Five-yard gain for Rudy Johnson. So now coming out, strong guy. They drop back. Draw play. Johnson breaks through one, gets a gain of seven there. He is running strong. Bengals in the red zone once more. They're knocking on the door. The counter. Perry gets it. Gets about a gain of four. Second and six. Rudy Johnson still not in the backfield. They hand it off to Perry. He's going to bounce around a little bit. Gets about two yards on the play. Third and four. They're two for nine on third downs. They hand it off to Perry. Perry's going to bounce around, falls short. It'll be fourth down. An interesting call here. Six minutes left on the clock, and they opt to go for it on fourth and inches. 
Rather than bringing it within four points, the pitch out. Johnson gets around the corner, beats McKinley. It will be a touchdown for the Bengals. What a time to take the field for the first time in your career. Charlie Fry coming under center. The game is tied. Five and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Tries to get out to Braylon Edwards. Hits him for the first down. The rookie-to-rookie -rookie connection gets him the first down and 10 here. Just outside of the 50. Bunch is right. Play action to Suggs. Oh, no, he hands it off instead. He gets about a two-yard gain. They come out. Suggs in the backfield. Line stacked on the left side here on the defense. The counter. He goes around the outside. Has a little bit of space, but gets caught from behind. Only a gain of two. Four minutes and counting on the clock. Third and six is a very crucial third down. Fry drops back. He tries to hit Hayden in the middle of the field. Gets him for the first down. Nice and steady offensive production here. Four plays, 21 yards. They're slowly killing this clock. Play action to Suggs. He has to dump it. Hits the uh, fullback. It looks like Smith getting the first down. Charlie Fry getting a pretty solid start. Three for three, 29 yards. It's a nice check down pass last time. Hands it off to Suggs. Gets about two, maybe three yards. Ball marked down at the 30 after that last run. So it will be second and seven. He's got uh, double receivers on the left. It's going to be a pass opportunity as he looks to hit Andre Davis just short of the first. Andre Davis, though, marking his 100th receiving yard there on seven receptions on the day. After the two-minute warning, it is third and inches just outside of the red zone for the Browns. They're six for 12 on third downs today. It's going to be a handoff to Suggs. He gets just enough for the first. After getting the first down, they killed some clock. The Bengals finally called a timeout with 129 left. It's going to be a counter. Suggs gets it. Can't beat the corner here. And so it'll be brought down to the backfield. Let's see what the Browns decide to come out with here. Do they try to keep pounding the ground or do they go to the air? Second and 14. The pitch out to Suggs. He's got a defender meeting him right there. It'll be another timeout. Last one. The Bengals use their last time out, so it will be a long third and 15, but there's a minute 23 on the clock. Fry dropping back. He's got a man. Hits Dennis Northcutt. He's taken out of bounds for fourth down. Philip Dawson out to kick. 35-yarder. He's hit this earlier. The snap. The kick is up, and it looks like it's on target. It will go straight down the middle. Browns lead 19-16. Bengals come out looking to see if they can get a touchdown to take the lead. Field goal to tie. They're down three, starting at about their own 30-yard line. Carson Palmer drops back. He's pump faking. He's got nobody there. It's knocked down. No timeouts for the Bengals. The defense giving them lots of room here. They know they have to try and get down the field quickly. They're going to cover those out-of-bounds lines as best as possible. Palmer, pass out. It's caught by Warwick. And now they're going to have to move quickly with a minute left to go. The no huddle. They're rushing to the line. Will they look for the spike? It's probably what's going to happen. They line up in the formation. Palmer drops back. Pass. Going to go deep downfield. It is caught by Chris Henry. First down at the 15. No huddle once more as they go to the line. Palmer hasn't had the best day, but he's coming alive here in the fourth quarter. He comes up to the line. Looks like he might snap again, but they didn't last time. This time it does go down. After those two big pass plays, they find themselves at the 15-yard line, second and 10. He's in the shotgun, dropping back. Looking for the corner, wide open to TJ Hushmanzada. The Bengals will take the lead. And nobody out there to cover. Looks like they were in the cover two for that one. But it's going to be a big play here for TJ Hushmanzada for the Bengals. And now what can Charlie Fry and the Browns offense do? The Bengals tried to avoid kicking it back to Dennis Northcutt, so the squib kick actually went out of bounds, so the Browns get the ball at the 40. Nobody in the backfield for Charlie Fry. Dropping back. He's going to try and find Dennis Northcutt in the center. It is knocked down, second down. The Browns do have all three timeouts, so they do have some time they can play with here in the middle of the field if they wanted to. 33 seconds to go. One safety comes up. Trying to find an open man. The deep bomb again is going to get knocked down. Third down and 10. Browns come out in the shotgun. Lots of secondary out there for the Bengals. Trying to find a man. Hits Dennis Northcutt just before he gets taken down. That complete pass takes them to the 48-yard line. Only 23 seconds left on the clock, though. They are running out of time. Fry drops back. Looking for a man. He has Braylon Edwards over the top. He catches it. Can you believe it? The rookie 
Braylon Edwards gets the touchdown and the lead for the Browns in the final seconds of this game. Charlie Fry coming out with the comeback drive after being down 4.16 seconds left on the clock. After the 48-yard touchdown pass to Braylon Edwards, our kickoff went out of bounds as we tried to avoid kicking it deep. No timeouts here for the Bengals. Carson Palmer passes the middle of the field, knocked down. 11 seconds left on the clock. Probably can assume it's just going to be Hail Mary time from here. Four receivers out, Rudy Johnson in the backfield. Snap, he drops back. He's got a lot of time. Pass out deep down to the side, and it's going to be knocked down. Three receivers on him. All right, time to say your prayers and just see how far you can chuck the ball. He's got 60 yards to the end zone. Five seconds left on the game. It's do or die here for the Bengals. Carson Palmer waiting. He takes a snap. Trying to find a man. He's got plenty of time to try and just heave it. The throw is out of bounds, and the Browns walk away with the win. What a comeback victory by the rookie, Charlie Fry. After having the lead for most of the game, the Browns able to fight back. Congratulations to the young rookie for getting his first big win here. Let's head on down to the Browns postgame show. Welcome to the NNG Cleveland Browns postgame show. What a game. Who could have guessed that rookie Charlie Fry would be leading the Browns down the field in the fourth quarter to take the victory. The passing game for the Browns looked very impressive behind both quarterbacks, but Fry will be at the helm for the next few weeks as Dilfer suffered an abdominal tear. Fry managed to complete seven of his nine passes for 102 yards and a touchdown. Running the ball didn't get any better for Lee Suggs, though. He only managed 23 yards on 27 carries, but did manage to get a touchdown to his name. When it comes to receiving, Hayden, Davis, and Edwards led the Browns. Hayden had five receptions for 65 yards. Davis had seven receptions for 100 yards and one touchdown. And rookie Braylon Edwards received player of the game with his nine receptions, 144 yards, and game-winning touchdown. On the other side of the field, the Bengals started to come together in the fourth quarter. Carson Palmer didn't have the best of days as he only completed 11 of his 26 passes, but he threw for 177 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. His top targets were rookie Chris Henry with four receptions for an impressive 106 yards and TJ Hushmanzada with four receptions for 40 yards and a touchdown. Rudy Johnson managed to find some room in the running game as he got 83 yards on 24 carries and a touchdown in the red zone. Looking around the league, the Steelers defeated the Titans 38-24 on the shoulders of Jerome Bettis. Steve McNair threw well, going 25 for 39 with 260 yards and two touchdowns, but Jerome Bettis' 151 yards and three touchdowns was just too much. Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts defeated Jamal Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens 35-28. Manning tore apart the Ravens' secondary throwing for 319 yards, four touchdowns, and two interceptions. Kyle Bowler wasn't able to find similar success, but Jamal Lewis ran for 113 yards and two touchdowns on 18 carries. Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, and Brandon Stokely were all on the receiving end of Peyton's touchdown passes. Join us next week as your Cleveland Browns take on the 1-0 Green Bay Packers on the road. Make sure you don't miss it by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed and are excited for the rest of this season, leave a like on the video. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for tuning in to the Browns season opener, and we will see you next time.